waiting is incredibly challenging, right? When you're in the throw, let's just be honest, right? You from day to day, and, I, and I've been there. I know what it's like. I look through my journals at all the tears and all the, you know, the the wetness still on the page that's just crumpled up because you know, night after night after night. Um, but often, often the delay is out of God's mercy, right? And mm. often the delay is out of His mercy, and and it's so sometimes it's hard to hear that because it's like, well, Kenny, that's just Christianese. That's just it's easy to say that, and yes, it is easy to say that the delay is out of God's love and mercy, until you see on the other side what He delayed and what He was merciful sort of about. Either because you were going to go with someone link up with someone, then you realize who they did get with and what happened in the year. You know, all of these things we just can't see. Mm -hmm. So um, in terms of strategies for, you know, how do people, um, I guess, thrive in that yeah. space rather than just yeah. surviving, you know. Yes, um, tell us, please. I, I'd say, I'd say um, there's a lot of self-work, you know, a lot of self-work, a lot of self-knowledge mm -hmm. in terms of really understanding, you know, who you are, how you work. Um, uh, begin practicing certain things. Get feedback from people around you. Be mm -hmm. open to receiving feedback. And what I mean by that is, um, you know, your spouse is going to hold up a mirror to you. Mm. And if you're not comfortable with people holding up a mirror to you, then boy, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna be in for a, for a shock, you know. Because you know we 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 you know, we we um we assume the best of ourselves often, yes. you know. We kind of you know we yeah. And so one of the things that you know, B and I found it really d difficult over the years, and I guess any married couple would just the constant feedback. Mm -hmm. And so you know, if I was speaking to my younger self ten years ago. I would I would say seek more feedback from people you you care about in the first oh. instance and say look what Ooh, do you think good. I could what do you think I could stop doing in our relationship what what in our relationship would 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 be helpful you know in our relationship what can oh. I start doing more of right and 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 you begin practicing the not not just practicing being better but getting used to the pain of yeah. <laughs> ouch <laughs> ouch that that was that was honest <laughs> okay yeah. um, because because um, Humility goes a long way in relationships. And if, you're, if you come into a relationship with your ego so tightly intact um, that you can't hear something that someone says, someone says then yeah. uh, you're in for a rocky ride. Oh, that's like such good practical, like that you've like given us something so practical is like asking for feedback. And yeah, our relationships, and our yeah relationships. absolutely. Absolutely right. I mean, and, and it's not, you know, it feels hard because you feel like you're going to be, you're going to be exposed a bit, you feel a bit vulnerable and all what they're going yeah. to say. Um, well, well, then don't start with the critical feedback, start with the affirmative things. Just say, look, you know what, I'm trying to build something here. Um, and, you know, what, what, what are some of the strengths you see? So just, just strengthen your heart a little bit and then, and then say, okay, I'll give me the... <laughs> yeah, oh, that's wisdom.